have just started our journey from Noida in Uttar Pradesh to Shimla in Himachal Pradesh. I have uh, just crossed uh, the Delhi Haryana border. In fact, I am now right now in Sonipat district in Haryana. Haryana has sealed its borders with the national capital districts like Gurugram and Sonipat have completely frozen the movement of traffic in and out of Delhi into their respective zones. But select categories uh, are being allowed essential services, media, they are being allowed to operate. Several check posts have been set up at uh, all the major borders. In fact, the first check post I encountered was at the Noida Delhi border. And the other check post which I've just uh, cleared was the Delhi Haryana point. The roads, uh, this is the National Highway 1 from Delhi to Amritsar. Normally, one of the busiest roads you would ever see. But in times of lockdown, uh, you can see it's uh, almost deserted. Very few vehicles flying. The opening up uh, with the uh, relaxed conditions has uh, led to a situation where some vehicles have started showing up on these roads. Remember, cargo movement uh, is permitted. So a lot of trucks and lorries can be seen on the main roads, on national highways. But yes, private vehicles uh, continue to fly in very, very limited numbers. Only select categories uh, as notified by the Ministry of Home Affairs are being allowed as of now. So I have reached Zirakpur in Punjab and I'm about to take a turn from here to head into the hills. Himachal Pradesh. Now, all through our way, uh, starting from Noida in Uttar Pradesh, passing through Delhi and then Haryana, there have been uh, multiple check posts uh, erected at various points on the National Highway as well, National Highway 1, on which I'm traveling. And uh, the number of vehicles is pretty less on the roads as expected, but since the lockdown relaxations have uh, kicked in, one can see some amount of vehicles on roads as and when you cross a small township. Uh, lots of small townships littered uh, all across National Highway 1, Sonipat, uh, then Panipat, Karnal, Kurukshetra, Shahbag. Ambala and now Zirakpur. As you can see, people are out on the roads. Uh, some amount of traffic is visible. Some degree of economic activity seems to have begun. Also, at stray places, uh, some queues are being witnessed uh, outside ATMs. Obviously, people who have been under a lockdown for a long long time they are coming out of their houses and uh, queuing outside ATMs trying to get some money out. So this is apparently the point where uh, the Himachal Pradesh authorities will be checking the details of those who are entering the state. The state government has been issuing uh, passes for those desirous of coming back to the state. Uh, these passes are being issued by the district magistrates. And uh, authorities here, I believe, would be checking the travel passes as well as noting down the other details of anybody who is entering the hill state. There, as you can see, Himachal authorities, uh, before letting any vehicle in, they are sanitizing the vehicles. This uh, spray is being used to sanitize all incoming vehicles into the state. We are at Parvanu, where all these facilities have been set up. Everybody who has to enter the state has to get uh, themselves uh, registered. This is the place where 
the entire process is taking place. So these are scenes from Parvanu at the Himachal border. This is the Himachal Haryana border. This is the entry to the state of Himachal Pradesh. A major point and now the Himachal government has set up these kiosks here uh, where those who have been granted permission by the government to enter the state have to come and register themselves and after this registration they have to get themselves medically examined. Only those people who are asymptomatic are being allowed to enter the state. That too with a rider that they will uh, keep themselves in self-isolation home quarantine for a minimum of 14 days. You can see a lot of people who are desirous of entering the state have lined up here. Lots of vehicles. In fact, there you can see the vehicles entering the state are also being sanitized using sprays. And that is the medical kiosk where after getting themselves registered, people are examined for their medical status. Anybody who's found symptomatic is uh, put in institutional quarantine. Those found in asymptomatic, they are being uh, allowed to go. The administration is putting a mark uh, with an indelible ink on them and advising them to home quarantine for 14 days. This is the special uh, checkpoint that has been set up at Shogi Barrier, bang at the entrance of uh, Shimla City. This is the final frontier which needs to be crossed before entering uh, Shimla, the capital of Himachal Pradesh. Uh, elaborate arrangements have been made uh, to screen incoming uh, passengers. A medical screening is being done. Infrared uh, thermometers are being used to check the temperatures. All the details are being taken, Aadhaar numbers uh, and plus other details of where the travellers are travelling from. They are being asked to download the Arogya Setu app in case they haven't done so already. And following this, uh, all these people have to register at another counter before being finally let in into the state of Himachal Pradesh.